Hello, everybody. So uh, in this screencast, we're going to uh, add email authentication to our app. So um, basically, I am in the console of uh, Firebase console. I pick the project that we created in the previous videos, which is the Firebase demo. And then it shows me my f the dashboard and so on. Now, when you click on, say, for example, uh, the project overview, gives you information. Uh, uh, I want to develop something. So I'll click on develop. I want to check uh authentication okay here we are now basically to do authentication there are a lot of authentication methods so i need to set up the sign in method i click here there are a lot of sign in methods by phone you can use google you can google uh, play games the game the game center the facebook authentication twitter uh, github authentication or you just let people uh, use the app without uh, actually needing to log in right so I'm going to pick email authentication. I'm going to click on it. I'll enable email authentication and I'm going to click on save. All right. So basically I have ema enabled email authentication. Now I want to check to see if I can authenticate using Firebase. So basically I go back to uh, the documentation. So I'll click on Firebase and docs. And basically it's iOS. And I'm looking at authentication. And I'm going to use authentication using password authentication, right? So here it is. So before I do that, I have to make sure that I have the Firebase authentication pod uh, included. So I go back here. I don't have it, so I'll add it. Here it is. I just copied it from here and pasted it here. I'll go back to the project and I'll do Firebase in, uh, pod install. Oh, I need to close this. Okay. All right, so we are done. Let's go back and open the project again. Here it is. So I opened it. Now it has the Firebase authentication in it. Excellent. So now if we, for example, want to authenticate, let's try to see how to, how do I sign in? So I'll do, I need to import Firebase and you can see there is Firebase and Firebase auth. Here it is. So let's do Firebase auth to import Firebase authentication. Now, create a new account by passing the, so I can create the new account using this. So I just pass an email and password and that creates a new account. So how do I do that here? Let's say when I first log in, okay, I will do auth.auth.sign, sign, or uh, what is it? Sign up or create new user. It's called saying create new user. Excellent. So I go here, create user and you pass it an email and the password and it has a callback handler excellent so basically here is the email let's say the email is going to be bob or b b smith at gmail.com and then or a test let's say test test.com and then the password let's say we have a password just say test one one two three and then this is the callback so this is the uh auth result and then this is an error. Perfect. So basically what I'm going to do is uh, this line will create a new user in the system. This is the sign up feature. So basically here it is. It tells you to create a new user with email. You do that. Excellent. So now let's go back to the authentication part. Now you can also look at in the console. You can also look at the users that you have in the system. I don't have any users in the system. Right. So basically when I create a new user, I'm expecting to see that new user here. Right. So actually let's run it. Okay, so I ran the app. I'll bring in this guy here a little bit and then we'll clean the screen here. So it's trying to execute. Okay, so basically I already, it already ran, no problems yet, right? It did run. And when you refresh here, you see that you have created a new user. Excellent. So creating a new user or signing up is just very straightforward. All you have to do is just uh, auth create new user and then you go from there okay you can also sign in meaning when you sign in you can check to see uh, this is how you sign in a new user okay now you can look at this in more details you could check to see if um, what is that auth result let's let's try to see what is that auth result which comes back and let's see so 
auth result that comes back dot uh, you can check to see what does it return it gives you the sign in user if it's the case and you can you can go and investigate this more f further but i'm more interested in the error if error is is equal to nil then this means everything is fine else there's a problem so basically i'll say print so basically this means the sign up is successful is successful uh, otherwise there is an error right so otherwise there is an error sign up error and I can get the error from the actual error I can get it from error dots uh, debug description will tell you actually what is the error okay it will tell you the error that happened so now basically if I run this app again it will tr try to create this user again with this user already exists like when you look here this already already exists called bsmithtest.com it will try to create it again and then there will be some form of an error that will uh, we will catch okay so we run it again and here we are you could say that see the description which is the debug description tells you that the email address is already in use by another account see so uh, it gives you uh, we are able to find out what is the error right so we can go here okay so that's the error description we're able to get um, so basically this is uh, the code uh, this is the user info and localized description and so on okay so basically we are able to get uh the um, the error right we can also get there is another way to get the localized description gives you uh, so if you run it again it gives you uh, it, it gives you something similar but at least it will tell you what's the error and there is an error code that you can use to uh, to tell the users that uh, there's a problem okay so let's let's keep it with the description okay A debug description so it tells at least it tells you what's the error okay now if we run it again it will tell you that this user already exists okay all right you could see here that uh, this email address already exists now let's say we change it to a smith and instead of test one two three let's me just make the other the the email as test right again and you will see that there will be another error that will show up the other error is mainly due to the, sh the short password the, the password has to be at least six characters it tells you here an error happened the password has to be at least six characters long so let's do test one two three and run it again and if everything goes okay sign up is successful as you can see here sign up is successful so when we refresh here we have another user and uh, the name the username is a smith okay at test.com so basically uh, you can see that we signed up a user the interesting part is that if you sign up a user this user actually uh, is logged in automatically so once if the create user is successful the user is uh, the, the actual um, the, the user is signed up okay or is logged in okay so if you go back here now how do i check to see if a user is logged in or no so it's very straightforward i'll do here auth so basically say auth dot auth dot current user so basically it tells you uh, synchronously gets the cached current user or null if there is no so basically if you successfully logged in this means that there will be a current user right if you logged in before there will be a current user and that current user will be cached now if so basically I could do this I could say if the current user is not equal to nil uh, this means that you are logged in okay so this means that you're already logged in okay that this user is already logged in okay else you're not logged in right okay so now if it's not equal to nil this means you're not logged in here you are not logged in and maybe we can do this process okay in that case we will just create a new user just for the sake of experimentation right let's run it again basically because we already successfully created a smith 
and you could see that this user is already logged in because if the create is successful right if the create uh, user is successful then it automatically logs in or caches that user okay and that makes that user as logged in okay so now we saw how to create a new user right now how do you log out also the same story so basically here it is it's called sign out okay so basically uh, all you have to do is just sign out like this so basically let's say at the beginning of this code let's sign out a user so basically to sign out the user uh, i'll copy this piece of code i'll put it here okay and the firebase auth is this part okay so basically sign out and basically you're gonna sign out okay so basically when you come in we're going to sign out run it again okay see because because we we did do we did do this process right there was no errors this logs out the user and then you are here right then you're checking to see if the user is is logged in or no it says the user is not logged in and we try to create a new user which is uh, which has the same uh, email and it fails here but it's fine you saw already how do you sign out a user this is how you sign out a user okay this is how you sign out this is how you create a new user now let's let's log in how do you log in okay so i will remove all of that i don't think we need all of this now okay we have already a mechanism of signing out and a mechanism of creating new users okay usually these are in different screens and so on right so here we are let's comment out the sign out feature because we might need it okay how do you create a new so we create a new user right how do you actually log in it's also straightforward how do we do that also firebase or auth dot auth dot uh sign in okay sign in with email okay and basically with email and password that's the one we're looking for here it is this is your the email that you retrieve from the user and then this is the password that you're going to retrieve from the user and then this is the authentication callback which is the auth result and also the error and you can do the same thing you could you need to check to see if error uh, is equal to nil this means that no problems you're logged in else there is a problem right so basically if error is or you could do it like this if it's not equal to nil this means that uh, if it's not equal to nil this means that error with login right and we can get the error description okay here's the error description and basically here we could say print this is the user is successful login okay so basically i could get maybe the user id okay so we can come here and we could say uh, auth result dot current user user here it is or dot uid the user id okay perfect so we run it obviously i don't have a user which is an empty string uh, username and empty string password right so it's definitely going to fail you see here see it says that the password is invalid for the user does not have a password right so let's add our user i think we had let's look at our users we had a user uh, b smith okay copy that is b smith okay password was test one two three test one two three okay run again and here we are so basically uh we went in and where is the uh the login state is this uh sign in with username and password this is the, the username and password huh okay here it is the user id here it is successful login here it is successful the login was successful so here it is and this is the user id of course it's needs to be uh, unwrapped so that you could see the id but this is the user id dk h e w u g which is exactly the same as dk h d w g g so that's the user a uh, id okay makes sense so we can see now that we are able to uh, retrieve the user ID we're able to log in and so on right if the login is not successful then we'll get an error the error will not be null and we will be able to print it let's say we put an exclamation mark at the end of the password which makes it an incorrect password 
now when you run it you will see that the it will show you there is an error and it will tell you that the password is incorrect here it is password is invalid or the user does not have a password blah 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 so basically this is how you log in okay so we, sh we 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 saw how to sign up how to log in and how to log out okay now at any time at any time if you want to retrieve the to find out if the user is logged in or no all you have to do is do this check auth dot auth dot current user if the current user is equal to nil this means that you are not logged you are not logged in else you are logged in make sense so basically this means you are not logged in and then here you logged in and if you are logged in you can get the current user you could say let user equal auth dot auth dot current user and that gives you the current user and then you can use the current user to do whatever you want to do right okay so basically these blocks that you see here these are called asynchronous blocks like for example from this to this runs after the uh, response comes back from firebase so basically here you are telling firebase hey firebase i'd like to sign in as this user with this password there is a message that's going to be our communication through the network that happens when the response comes back then this executes okay so it's an asynchronous kind of communication okay um so uh, we have seen how to sign up how to sign in and how to log out and please let me know if you have any questions.